Hi everybody. Other stargazer here to a reading for the collective. I hope you're all doing well today. If you're in the United States, I'd like to say happy Juneteenth. I um, hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Father's Day was this weekend. Yesterday, now we have Juneteenth. And Wednesday is the summer solstice. This is a great time to celebrate and really look at... Um, how far we've come and how far we still have yet to go. Um, and it's also a very um, masculine energy. It's about taking action, right? Um, the uh, celebrating of the father, the celebrating of the S-U-N, the sun, that's the solstice, right? And the celebration of freedom um, for everyone, right? The equality and freedom of everyone. June is a very powerful month. Um, in the United States, we also celebrate pride. And um, hopefully we celebrate pride all around the world, right? We celebrate pride all around the world. Um, wow. And you get the king of swords in the reverse with this, right? Um, that's maybe like who, the, who uh, yes, who we're, who we're standing up against. I didn't say fighting against, but um, standing up against this um, narcissistic, mind-bending, energy rulership right um mindset right poor judgment poor judgment but the more we learn see all these books and the more that we see of the world and what of uh, um others experience right because that's what books are they're they're the words of others Others' experiences, others' observations, the information gathered by other people, um, transmitted to us via language on page. And so those words can transcend time. They can transcend space. They are the, they are the truth that um, can be told through generations, through time, through uh, any amount of space, right? And in this day and age, we have the benefit of the internet, right? So... Um, back in if you go back in time all of that information was ruled by the by the ruler of the information right he's the one in charge of all of these things he's got his hands on those books um, and he could be withholding information from others right um as a means to control and so when we dive into the information ourselves when we learn when we um experience things that are outside of our room outside of our neighborhood outside of our experience right um we change we we get knowledge we get truth four of wands and it might affect um Wow, it might affect our, uh, our uh, foundation our stability it might affect our home six of pentacles in the reverse right underneath that king of swords in the reverse that is definitely um not uh, sharing information and then five of cups while well, we got four five six here guys four five six here and another five on the end yep feeling left out um high priestess on the bottom secrets secrets revealed and again secrets withheld right and about this intuitive information ace of swords above a five of cups um allowing us to see what what it is that we lost but what it is that we still have right kind of um Either side of this might be mourning um, the previous or mourning the loss, right? In during the previous, and uh, that's why it's um, like this four of wands in reverse with the five of pentacles in reverse. You know, really feeling like we're being left out of um, what was created as a home. Wow, what was created as a home? Yep. Ace of Swords, the truth, and I keep looking at this astrolabe um, because that is space and time, that's spatial time, right? And then here we have the High Priestess, that, that bringer of, of information. You know, the Romans would go to the Oracle of Delphi at the Temple of Apollo and she would sit above this um, vapor. She would sit in this, in this elevated seat and this vapor would come through and it, there's her vapors there and it would bring her um, vision and so she was respected and revered and people um, went to her to find out w what the future was. And sometimes uh, the answers that she would give were a bit ambiguous, um, but they were always the truth. It was up to the person receiving that information to be able to interpret it right. And it's often like, how honest are we being with ourselves? 
you know, um, how, how um, honest are we being with our, with the truth that's being handed to us? And, um, Sometimes we don't want to look at somebody who's like the keeper of information in a way that might make us feel like we're being left out. Um, five of vessels twice. There's five of vessels twice. Underneath of that, six of pentacles in reverse, king of swords in reverse. Yeah. Let's get another one. Magician in reverse. Three of swords, nine of staves. You don't want to give up. It's like we're learning something that um, was being withheld, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom while we really love to see that, right? Because I got to say again, you know, um, now we have a three. There's this reduction, right? There's a reduction of information. There's a reduction of feeling. And it comes down to really processing the um, pain that we've been through, that brokenhearted feeling. Um, because we, we have the Ace of Swords with the Five of Cups with the Magician. That's two ones on the outside of this. And when this guy's in the reverse, he's either not able to manifest or he's using his manifestation abilities to um, control something, right? And it's like, so we have this guy who's hold, withholding information, not being generous. He's the ruler of that. He knows it all. He's just not telling you, right? He's using it for his own benefit to maintain and control power, it feels like. But because this is the scroll, that's that information that we need. And it's being kept in this bottle. And all of these other bottles here, they're empty. But then look at that one. That one has a ship, and that's the means to travel, to leave, to explore, to get out into the world. So even if these cups are empty, these are still available to us, right? And so it's like having to go out and find this information, right? And when I say do your own research, please don't, like take that go go on the internet and listen to just any old person because trust me I got a ton of videos on the internet and I am just any old person and anything I tell you or anyone else tells you you have to dive deep read a book read a textbook get definitions to words you don't know find out context you know find out all about the person who's withholding the information what is the history of that right and that's where the truth will will um present itself to you and that might be painful when you find this out you might really realize you know like i don't want to be a part of that which um would keep me in this situation which would keep us in the, this situation right so the four of wands going to the five of pentacles to the three of swords um whose heartbreak is it it's probably everyone's both the the oppressor and the oppressed right because we realize how much we need to grow how far we need to come and how much has been done to keep us in this situation um but we can't give up right and they're kind of um downhearted as well because what they had control over via this method is being exposed you know huge huge secrets are being exposed huge revelations are coming to light and um it, it's not pretty and it doesn't feel good for anyone we have we have um one two three fives out we have three fives out and then we have this don't give up card the wounded warrior, the nine of the nine of uh, staves. It's like you've come this far, and the information. So we're talking about the high priestess and the wheel of fortune, right? The information that's coming to us, the things that we are looking for, the um, knowledge that we seek, that's going to really change the game. Let it shine. Yes, yes. Hmm. What's that song about putting your light under a bushel? You know, I'm going to let it shine, shine. When this comes out, be peace, be peace. This isn't, like I said, this isn't coming out, to, like, I didn't want to use the word fight. Um, it's not about fighting or conf uh, confrontation. It's about confronting peacefully. Um, when when these types of things come through, we, we aren't, this isn't about going into battle. There isn't a battle card here. What there is, is there's acknowledgement, right? And truth transcends illusion. Gotta love that. Wow. Let it shine. Be peace. And truth transcends illusion. And um, absolutely, bring your ideas to life. <laughs> because this information um, will change everything. This information will um, put the wand in your hands, in our hands, right? But there has, it's not, it's not like this, uh, Oh, I just heard it's not like an overnight success. Absolutely. 
it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of perseverance, right? But mostly it takes acknowledgement. The step, first step, right, is that ace of swords between that king and that four, like really getting that information, gathering that information, sit in mulling on it. You know, there's a difference when we talk about literacy, uh, and I just saw 1010. When we talk about literacy, um, it's more than just the ability to read words, right? To decipher symbols and make them into sounds that are cognitive words for us to understand and communicate with. It's so much more than that. It's also about reading comprehension, about the context of the things that we're ingesting, right? It's about being able to understand um, what the story is about, what the information is about, and then being able to apply what we've learned in um, future context, apply that to the next situation, apply that to um, the solution, to find the solution, right? And as long as that um, information is either being muddled by misinformation, by doing your own research and not going deep enough, do not take things at face value. This is telling you do not take things at face value, telling us, right? Don't do it do the research and then do the research on the research that you've done, right? That's the comprehension. That's the advanced literacy, right? And that's um, learning to say what's next. And that's not just what's next in the action that we're taking, what's next in the information that I need to understand this. And that's its own adventure. And that's what the King of Swords is trying to get you not to do by giving you things at face value, by giving you misinformation, six of pentacles in the reverse, the magician in the reverse, right? It's trying to keep um, keep us in a situation where we're just mulling over bad, bad I don't say bad news, but it's bad info, right? And um, we're being left out, five of pentacles, and we're kind of mourning what it is that's been lost in this situation, and it's very heartbreaking. Sometimes when we get information and we learn something new in this in this type of a way, it's really painful and it's telling us not to give up. Okay, don't don't give up. Truth will transcend illusion and by bringing your ideas to life, right? By giving them voice, we um turn that wheel of fate, right? Let's get a couple more cards. It's all got to start somewhere, right? What better day than Juneteenth? Do not fear the unknown. Right? They say ignorance is bliss. And so we acknowledge that we're ignorant of something and then that can be very, very scary and that's why we have to educate ourselves. You have the power. And when you um, give your power away by not looking at things truthfully, by by thinking that it's not available to you um, by not going after it and then letting that light, light shine. Um, you're really uh, not blissfully ignorant. You're afraid of the unknown and do not fear the unknown because that's what's going to, that's why we're looking for information. That's why we're learning. That's why we're communicating. That's why the truth is available to us. You know, don't be afraid of it. Even if it is painful for a minute, um, it's going to break that blockage and allow us through the gates, right? So sometimes we got to, you know, feel it to heal it. Really, time to reflect. Mm. We get one more. Oh, that's that Wheel of Fortune turning. And then Honor Gaia. Yeah. The rhythm. The truth. The natural light. Mm -hmm. what we need to know and that uh, interesting too that that uh, masculine father context and then it's like don't forget to honor the uh, feminine spirit too at this time where we do really like to take action to be in our um yeah there goes the train i wanted to say fiery aspect there's not a lot of fire here there's a lot of um, mental realm, and there's a lot of physical realm, and the heart, uh, the emotional realm is feeling loss, right? So um, by honoring Gaia, go go into Earth. We talk about like all the beings all around the world, the past and the future and the present and their experiences. We're all part of Mother Earth by honoring each other, by honoring the diversity available to us on this planet within each other and all of the, all of the beautiful creatures, all of the flora and fauna, right? There's diversity in everything. And that is what Gaia had intended. That's what makes her happy. That's what's part of her, right? Um, be honest.
Wow. Be honest. You got the Ace of Swords and the be honest is the overarching energy for, wow, for that deck. I'm going to get one more card. Pull it, but I think that's pretty straight up, don't you? The clinging fire and stand still. Read that one in just a second. Freedom recognized as an illusion and limitation accepted as fate. Emotional awareness lies between hope and pain. Line six is enforcement, right? We, and then line five is irony. There's a, there's, um, there's that king in the corner here, right? That enforcement of uh, the limited information, the enforcement of the perception, the enforcement of the understanding, and the irony is that it's completely um, futile to follow that perception, to um, ingest that information, take it as take it as truth, right? The irony of taking lies as truth, right? Um, burnout you know the level of exhaustion that we get to and that's what that's where this wounded warrior is this nine of wands right at that point of burnout because the because the work is so much the heartache is so great the struggle is real right um resignation pragmatism and composure all right so um we can either resign to the idea that um, we'll never know the truth, or we can resign to the idea that the truth was, you know, um, not what we thought it was, right? And the pragmatism of that, how does that change how we approach? How does that change how we behave? How does that change how we make choices, right? Being pragmatic about it, really looking at um, the practical, right? And the, um, the uh, moving forward, right? What, what's pro how does that solve problems for us? By changing our perception, um, it really gives us the ability to change the solution because we're viewing, our, we're viewing the problem in a different way. We might even be identifying it something different, and that's the composure, right? Recognition of feelings and surrendering to fate. Um, we can't get caught up in the resentment or the anger that this is what's happened. We, um, we have to move forward, right? And that's that, that composure to the recognitions of feelings. Um, maybe we needed to see this so that we could, we could truly free ourselves in the future because it's like this perpetual problem of staying in someone else's idea of what the fight should be. Stand still. The quality of restraint and the importance of meditation and inaction when in confronting temptation, the power of cultural mutation is the mystery of the standstill metamorphosed. We get the pragma uh, pragmatist again, again, the prophet, right? Confession, it's all here. Before we can expect someone else to confess something, we have to be honest with ourselves. How You cannot expect someone to be honest with you if they're lying to themselves. And that goes for us too. That's a big deal. Purification, just a lot, you know, let it, let it go. Let it be clean. That's the B piece. Be peace. This is telling you to, to uh, ingest this and move forward in a peaceful, pragmatic, meditative way, right? The monk, that's what that's what the monk does, right? They, um, they pray on it, right? Caution, releasing awareness in the proper spirit. And that's what I'm saying, like, the confrontation of this in a in a um, aggressive way is just going to perpetuate it within the situation, within others, and within ourselves. It's really important to um, make that internal resolve. This is asking us to make that internal resolve. Be honest. Bring your ideas to light. When the when the truth comes to you in this high priestess, you know it will turn the wheel. I just saw nineteen nineteen. Happy Juneteenth, you guys. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. And I hope that you come back and see me again tomorrow. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.